Alright guys, um, gonna be playing some heavy weapon, uh, playing it on the PC, I do not recommend this, uh, and I'll get to that in just a second as to why, um, actually this originally came out on the Xbox 360, I don't know if it was on PS3 or not, it was part of PopCap Games, actually, one second, let me grab something, I'll show you guys something. This, this is what uh, you would have gotten. This is not the one that includes um, this game here, but this was volume, uh, what was this? It was volume one. So volume two would have included the game that we're about to play, which is Heavy Weapon, which I, I'd say is the, um, my favorite one. This one includes Feeding Frenzy, um, Asteroid Pop, Zuma, and Bejeweled 2. Uh, if you're someone who likes games such as Bejeweled and Zuma, Asteroid Pop, or Astro Pop is another, it's kind of like an Atari game, uh, like Breakback, basically, is what I'm thinking of. Beating Frenzy's fun, but I've played a Flash version of Beating Frenzy, and I've gotten my fill of games type, uh, kind of like that. They got a, a game out on Steam that's actually like Beating Frenzy, a little more, but it's 3D and Beating Frenzy is, you know, it's fun, but anyway, um, you know, I discovered Heavy Weapon through, well actually I got it as a demo, and uh, I enjoyed it, never got the full version, and I wanted to uh, get that at some point for the three uh, for the 360, it's just a, you know, it's just a fun little arcade game, you know, something to play for, you know, 30 minutes or so, um, anyway, I got, I have it here on PC, I have it for, I, I got it for free, and um, you know, just, just something I wanted to play for, play for, you know, a little bit. And, uh, you know, here we are at the main menu. You got a mission mode here, um, set out on multiple, multi-stage campaign to obliterate forces of, t uh, tyranny. Um, basically you're a tank, you get upgrades from a sh uh, an aircraft that, comes across the sky you can't can't shoot it down um it's basically like the only way i mean the game has uh you know if you go into the help here it'll, it tells you how to shoot and it tells you about the this the airplane that flies around along the sky there and it drops drops um you know shield it drops you know it gives you upgrades to your main weapon it uh, will also um, give you nukes and um, shield nukes. Also, there is like a super laser. You have to uh, pick up four power-ups for that specifically, and you can't let it touch the ground either. So you have to make sure you position yourself while avoiding all the enemies to get that. Otherwise, if it hits the ground, um, you don't get the... And you have, like I said, you have to acquire four of those, and you get like a super laser that lasts for like um, 15 seconds or so. Um, all of the enemies, or most of which the enemies are all uh, like jets and other airplanes and stuff like that. Um, pretty much, they just drop down missiles, nuke, or I wouldn't say nukes, but like missiles mainly. There is actually one aircraft that like drops like a, a bomb that if it hits the ground uh, will uh, destroy you uh, in one hit. Uh, basically it's just like a large explosion that hits the ground, you're dead. So you basically have to destroy that like atomic bomb or whatever it drops. I mean it's a huge missile. I mean the thing's huge. 
Uh, you just have to hit, shoot it down before it hits the ground. Um, so there's various enemy types, and and they got most like most of what I said, missiles and stuff. Some are you know some are different color, but the reason for that is because some of the missiles you know maybe take a hit or two to take uh, for them to destroy. They're also you know worth different points and whatnot and. There's actually, I remember one, I think it's like a yellow one, um, that when you, uh, if you shoot it down, it, uh, explodes into, uh, small, like, laser balls. Um, uh, one helicopter, or there's a helicopter that kind of positions itself and just kind of shoots missiles at you, homing missiles. And you got boxes at the end of each stage. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many stages there are, but there's, uh, you know, I think there was like 12. And then you got a survival mode here. You know, you just basically keep going as long as you can. And then I think the heroes, oh, okay. I was thinking of something else. I think survival here, the sword has like purple. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get into it because this is actually the mode I wanted to uh, uh, show you or play and uh, I hope that the volume it sounds pretty loud I hope that you guys can hear me um, anyway the reason why I recommend not playing this on PC and getting it on the 360 is because I'm gonna turn that down I think it's gonna be hard to hear me usually I test something out test this out but before I start recording but man, see, like, it was barely up, and it just it sounds so loud. Anyway, I already died. So, um, you can't play this game with a controller at all, as far as I can, like, you go into the, let's go back to the main menu. What we're going to do in survival mode, I'm going to, I'm going to go again, give it a little more effort, but anyway, you go into the options menu, this is it, this is all you have for options. You got full screen, you got hardware, acceleration, use custom cursors, you know, just, that's the difference. Uh, uh, enable hints, I don't need hints, I played this game before. Like I said, help just goes over how to shoot, how to move, um, you know, just a couple little things. Uh, anyway, let's give this another go. Like I said, playing this with a mouse is just terrible. It, this is supposed to be a twin stick shooter, and that's the better way to play it. However, you know, it's, it's still a little bit, it's still a little enjoyable, just a little harder because of the fact that you have to play with the mouse, but you know what? We're going to give it another go. We're, we're going to do this again. We're going to do better. Let's do this. Yeah, it sounds, sounds a little bit better. It's not, not as heavy on the, on the noise there. You can barely hear the sound effects, but, you know, you get a, get to hear the soundtrack. It's a decent little soundtrack, you know? There's that kind of like helicopter type. Uh, that's what's giving us, you know, supplies and stuff. Gives us nukes, gives us shields. As you can see, my shield right now is red. So that's at its lowest and you can, you have a naked form, you know, like, so if I get hit, um, you know, I'm gonna lose my shield, but now I just got it upgraded. It can, you, everything stacks three. So nukes, you can only hold Actually, I think you can hold four nukes, but your shield, I think, is three. Your weapon can uh, spread up to three. Um, uh, you get upgrades, uh, other additional upgrades that are not of, you know, the main weapon or um, anything else. Like, you can get a laser, you can get missiles as well that home in on your targets. You can get... Oh, there's something else. Oh, uh, it's kind of like this orb that floats around you, and I that was laser right there. Yeah, this is so challenging um, with the mouse. I was doing a lot better on um, on the mission mode because it's you know it progressively you know gets harder, but you know it's easy to start. Survival mode's gonna throw more at you at first but I mean this is also like like I mentioned it's just it's a little more tougher with the mouse here 
I mean, the aiming is just not what you think it is. It's not like if I'm aiming directly at this, you see, I gotta stay with it, ahead of it, in order for it to hit. But, uh, definitely, yeah, like I said, see, I've already lost that little tiny shield I had. I mean, missiles everywhere, and I only got one little shot going here. It's so hard. So hard, I just got the spread, but I just died. Let's uh, let's try uh, mission mode. Get a little more easier. Let's do uh, let's do a new game here. You guys can see how it starts, where it starts. And it's kind of cool. It gives you some enemy intel. It tells you what like the score value is and stuff like that. Um, and this is you know this is old school type arcade in the sense that you know it's just all about trying to get a high amount of points points are in the very top left corner to shows your lives next to that which i got two two lives plus the life i had you know i'm using currently next to that is like the the map it uh shows you currently your position and then how much further till the end and it'll can there's like a little arrow representation to show you uh, and I'll continue to move to show you, you know, because you are moving as you can see. I mean, the wheels are moving and everything like that. Um, uh, also, uh, wanted to mention that I got, you know, my uh, video camera capture going because this game didn't want to go in full screen correctly. It was being really retarded. So I just did, decided to play this game in window mode. And since I was going to be playing in window mode and I can't adjust uh, the window size, it just goes to a default. And as you can see, the options were abysmal. This game obviously just was not meant to be played on PC. A uh, very crappy port. But, um... What was I? lost my train of thought. Um, so I decided to do my video capture, just kind of fill some space as I'm recording here. Right. Mission one, see this is pretty easy breezy. We're about done with mission one. Just definitely a slow per, you know, progression as far as difficulty. And survival mode's supposed to be, you know, pretty tough, but um, it's even more tougher, obviously playing with the mouse, but this boss is pretty simple. It's got two missile packs, whatever missile, whatever you want to call it you just need to take one out and then go after the other um, you know shoot those missiles down because they do home in on you and then just basically shoot right at them see pretty easy and that was mission one so you kind of go to this fueling station get a rank get a your total score here enemies destroyed percentage of them killed yada 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 all about point accumulation now you start off with these three here uh, uh, for options as a as another um, upgrade and you get one point to spend each time you complete a mission these three become available like this one will be ne available in the next next round and then this one and then this one uh, this one here oh goodness um, it's basically a missile, but it doesn't home in. And I can't remember what else the description was. This is like flat cannon, basically wherever your um, cursor is, your aiming cursor is at. That's kind of like where the flak is being shot at. It seems kind of weak. I did try it out because I in the demo mode, you don't get to access these. And I'm not sure what this last one is. However, I, f I find missile and laser to be pretty powerful. The orb, the defense orb, uh, you know, they just basically, they'll go around just like this, around your tank. And so if like a missile or something just so happens to hit, hit it, like, let's see, these orbiting defensive spears block all, all enemy ordnance, excluding laser weapons. So basically just the missiles, which is nice. Um, however, we're gonna go with, usually I go with missile. We're gonna, we're gonna go with missile. We're gonna continue to go with missile. It's a homing missile, um, you know, kind of 
kind of help out with some of the enemies coming across the screen there as you can see it homes in um it doesn't you know if you continue to upgrade it it doesn't like shoot faster what it does it just gives you more missiles and again you can only go up to three so um i you know i, I haven't you know fully beaten the game i mean i've beaten the demo version that i had um it's not an extremely hard game i mean you know kid could beat this game it's not that hard aim and shoot and avoid missiles but you know nonetheless I, I like games like this I like you know arcade games you know I got other arcade games on my PC here I rely a lot on my PC for a lot of my gaming you know get emulators for old school console games Nintendo PlayStation um, a lot of Nintendo for sure you know, a little bit of Sega in there, but I also have a Sega collection for my 360 Sonic's Ultimate Collection. I definitely recommend that. Sonic's Ultimate Collection for 360 is definitely a good buy. Of course, you can get that on the PS3 as well. Uh, either either console doesn't matter. That's a good uh, collection to get. You really get a good quality selection from that. Of course you get all the Sonic games, otherwise it wouldn't be called Sonic's Ultimate Collection, but you get like Street to Rage and Ultimate Beast and just uh you know a lot of beat 'em ups. Um not a lot of fighters, just a lot of beat 'em ups and a couple shooters and stuff. But uh definitely a good one to pick up. I also recommend uh, Midway Arcade Classics. Of course, you know, uh, like with Midway uh, specifically, you know, that's that w that's that's something that's been made available on a lot of the consoles. Like even back during, I think, even Super Nintendo days. Uh, definitely on the 64. I don't know if PlayStation had got any, but I know the PS2 definitely got some. And then you know, you go on to the GameCube and I don't, you know, Xbox, original Xbox, I don't think I had any. But Midway, for the 360, had some, uh, had some good games on there. And then, uh, I think the lastly, what do I got? What's the last one? Namco Museum. You know, definitely gotta get yourself some Namco. And I just completely missed that. I shouldn't have even died against this boss, but lose all your nukes and you lose the build up to the super laser when you die but you don't lose anything else level two down uh so yeah unsophisticated indiscriminate ugly and these unguided menaces always take it personally i have not tested why not test it? I tested a flag and I did not like it. So let's try this cruddy. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this missile works. This will be my first experience, and it just basically shoots shoots wherever you're pointing um, your cursor at. So that's basically how that works. So it'll either hit or not. And I'm sure it's good for bosses and stuff. Or anything that takes a lot of hits has more health, I should say. The laser is pretty good, though. The laser is definitely good. It's concentrated laser beam, and it's it's pretty good. So as you can see, we're up to three spread shot, and that's as powerful as it's going to get. Now you can see that there's a little helicopter now that's shooting down, um, you know, laser balls. I mean, you, know, you want to say beams, but they're not beams, they're balls. So, and they kind of, as you can see, they, they move in a horizontal fashion. So, you kind of have to watch out for that. And see, I missed out on that super laser. It fell and hit the ground, and it basically shatters. If 
you don't get it. I mean, that's what it does. And see, the other thing I hate is that truck shows up by this level. And see, like, you want to aim at it, but your, your, your tank goes, you know, basically driving up right in front of it. It's kind of annoying. But I can't do anything about that. I mean, I can let go and kind of click. Because I'm just holding down the mouse. I'm not clicking. It says click in the help menu or whatever, but I I think that's just stupid. I wouldn't want to sit here and be clicking like a like a maniac trying to play this game. But again, this is just you know it's one of those types of games you know you don't really want to play on PC. I was hoping that I could get farther in that survival mode, but the degree of difficulty that it punches at you from the beginning obviously was too much for me to handle however be it that we're playing on on the 360 i would have made it much farther i can try, i can tell you that right now there's that helicopter that stays stationary and just shoots home guided missiles at you but he's not that big of a deal i'd say this missile though is not bad like i said as long as it hits it's uh pretty good does a lot of damage like I said it has to hit though so I find it good for bosses and stuff because bosses are big and easy to hit Let's see we're not in bad shape we may have died in that last boss but we already got three nukes so we're in, we're in a good spot probably gonna have to use at least a nuke on this boss and difficulty about that last boss that boat um, just being that the, it's guided missile and it's a little hard to avoid you know I could have used a nuke just to be safe but and what a nuke will help out is um, it will uh, basically you know the screen basically goes white for a second but anything that's coming down about to hit you or whatever cancels out so it's really good in that respect see now we got the super laser all fully charged and as you can see it starts to drain down last for a few seconds but it takes everything out really quickly I just basically like to swing it back and forth so uh, they did they did uh, you know think of a few things when they made this game so it's pretty cool Yeah, we may not really be hearing any sound effects, but you know what? I was just for right at like 10% that I had it at, it was just loud. I don't feel, I don't think you guys even heard anything I was saying right there in the beginning. I don't even know what you call these things that come down. It tells you obviously right before the enemy or the before you face the boss. So you just gotta avoid these meteors. That was a little premature, but uh, those were coming down. I didn't see a opening, so. And, you know, we still only ended up using one nuke. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know if I wanna, cause I, I don't know, I kinda feel like I wanna beat the game and show it, but we're already 23 minutes in, so. I don't know. All I can say is, uh, yeah, I basically want to end the video here. Wanted to at least complete the game, but at the same time, I didn't want to put out an hour long video of this game. I just wanted to throw like a little recommendation out. It is a fun game if you like arcade games. If you like arcade games, I'd say this was one to get. You're not gonna be able to get it um, by itself. Unless if you go on Microsoft or on the yeah Microsoft um, Xbox 360 store, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, if that's still, but you know, if you got it, you know, you can get that like that, or you can get the Popcat Volume Two and get it on there, and you get additional three other games for. I mean, it sells kind of expensive. I think what I pay for my volume one I don't know oh, it's like where did I set it uh, okay you know I only paid seven bucks so it's not terrible you might even be able to get a little bit cheaper now 
bought that about like almost a year ago or a year ago so anyway so that's heavy weapon for you hope you enjoyed